Right. Today marks one year since the deadly downtown Davenport apartment building collapse. Tonight, the community is remembering the three lives lost and the impact the collapse still has on families, friends, and neighbors. The community hosted several vigils tonight, including one at the collapse site just hours ago. The community came together through music, prayer, and a chance to speak about the tragedy. Dozens were at a downtown church before heading to the collapse site for a vigil there as well. Jonathan Fong is live in downtown and how the community is searching for healing one year after the collapse. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, John. It's still a flat patch of grass here where 324 Main Street used to stand, but there's crosses here in memory of the three victims who lost their lives in the collapse. That's Daniel Prien, Brandon Colvin, and Ryan Hitchcock, and there's still candles here actually lit in their memory. Just an hour before that vigil, residents were at a church a few blocks from here. Lord, help us to support, help us to do whatever we can, not just to remember the lives, Father God, that were lost and, and then remember those who were hurt, but help us, Father God, as a community. And I will never forget the noises I heard that day, the sights I seen, and to know that Brandon's son slept down there waiting for word, and he got news the day he graduated that his dad was gone, and our city did nothing. And Lord, we ask you today to look upon this ground and see the tragedy that happened here one year ago. Don't cry for me, for I have no fear. All my pain is gone, and Jesus took my tears. Don't cry for me. This is not the end. I will be waiting for you when we meet again. Now, several people directly affected by the collapse were at this vigil tonight. Lisa Brooks, for example, you may remember, who had to be rescued from the building after she had to signal from a window. Now, there were also several city leaders at tonight's vigil, including several aldermen, police chief Jeff Bladel and Mayor Mike Madsen. Several speakers tonight voicing their frustrations yet again at the mayor, but also telling the community to use their vote if they want to see change. For now, live in Davenport, Jonathan Fong. WQAD News 8. All right, Jonathan, thank you.